his face, looking at his eyes, nothing special. Then he asked, Ekanath, when you went for bath in Godavari, you had some spiritual experience? Yes, Maharaj. What? I had the vision of the Tatra. You see, as if you have seen some policeman in the road. My dear boy, sadhakas are waiting for such a vision for innumerable births. You have got it without any effort and you just simply neglect it, ignore it, you are not bothered, nothing happened to you. What did you do? You did not stay in that state. If I stay in that state, who will serve you? So I came in. And then Vekana Swami said, Maharaj, did I ever ask you that I have any lacuni? Did I ever complain about my spiritual progress? Did I ever ask you that I should have a vision? If I need a spiritual vision, I have you here. You are not anything less for me than the Tantraya. If I want a physical manifestation, I am seeing you. I don't want anything more. Then you know, Ekanath Janardhan Swami said, Ekanath, you are not an ordinary devotee, you are a jnani. Because it is impossible for an ordinary person to swallow such a great spiritual experience. Bhagavan Ramana Mahashri, Kavya Kanta Ganamati Puni used to say, Malayayim Urunginon. That is the Tamil expression. Hmm? He used to say, Swa He has swallowed the hill and remains unmoved. Even Arunachala was ashamed. That is what Murugana says. Hmm? Amma Atishayam. Achalamum Nana. Chuma Yirundador Swaru. Even this Achala became ashamed because unmoved. So that kind of state when Janardana Swami saw in Eganath, Eganath Maharaj, he told him, you write a commentary for Chatushro Vibhagata. And also for this Hastamalakiyam. Both he wrote. A commentary for Hastamalakiyam and also for this Chatushro Vibhagata. Complete Advaita Jnana. In his Ekanati Bhagavad, you know, very beautifully he begins. It's all Advaita Jnana. Then he says, um, My name is Eka. He says, My name is Eka, means one. And I was born in some Ekadashi or something. And I am starting this commentary on Ekadashi. And what I am writing is Ekadasha Skandha. You know our Kula Devata? They have Divine Mother as their Kula Devata. So in Trishati, there is a Nama for Divine Mother, which is Ekavira. That is their Kula Devata. That is why he was named as Eka. So he says, My Ishta Devata, our Kula Devata is Ekavira. That Ekavira means that. Birya is an ekatva. It will not permit a second thing to enter. So our Kula Devata is Ekavera. And I am writing, whoever reads this will have the experience of that ekatva. So that kind of great saints who lived in Bhagavata, who had their being in Bhagavata. After knowing that the entire existence is Brahman, with their senses, with their body, with their mind, everything they offer to Lord. Mano vachana charitam dadhu. See, when you have hands, you have to serve. When you have luck, you have to do protection. When you have mouth, when you are speaking, you have to speak about the Lord. Vani gunan kathane shravano kathayam hasto chakarma sumanas tavapadayurna 
स्मृत्याम शिरस्तव निवास जगत प्रणामे दृष्टि ही सदाम दर्शने स्तु भवत तनुनाम इस वाणी इस वर्ड मस्ट बी ऑफर्ड गॉड हाउ कांस्टेंटली स्पीकिंग ओनली अबाउट हिम इफ यू हैव टू स्पीक यू स्पीक अबाउट गॉड और यू चैंड रामा is to just control the speech Abba has given us this constant chantra no other work because by speech you get trapped once you know the tongue and the teeth had a conversation this is Vashita and the tongue told the teeth teeth told the tongue Tongue told the deed, you are a karma yogi. When I give, when we get murk, you make uh, it like a paste, like a dust, and give it to me. I am tasting. You are not tasting. So, please tell me what should I do in return? When teeth tongue told this, teeth said. Uh, see, I have, you have already given me the title Karma Yogi. I don't want anything. No, no, I have to do some help. Okay, if you are so particular about helping me, do not cause it. You gossip, you scandalize about another person. You know what do they say? Tvaya aparadhe tu krite sthana bhramsho bhavain mama. You scandalize about another person and they say, I will break your teeth. Nothing happens to the tongue. So, you have to control the speech, purify the speech. Walk away Prajapati. Walk is Prajapati. Walk is Bhagavan. So, to offer it to the Lord, constantly reading Bhagavad. Constantly chanting is Nama. Day and night chanting is Nama. Gita Bhagavat Vachundi. Meera says, hey, What will you do? You have so much time. I will read Bhagavatam Gita Bhagavatam Gita and Bhagavan's Nama. Gita Bhagavat Vachundi. And with the body, what will you do? Nachundi. I will dance with this Nama. So that is Bhagavata Dharma. Hmm? So here, Manovachana Charitam, that is why in Trivandamalaya also Bhagavan said, go around the hill. Self-inquiry, Atma Vichara is very certain. Go around the hill, let the body go round and round Arunachara. Have intimate contact with Arunachara. What will he do? He will silence the mind. He will quieten the mind. I have seen a magnet mountain which pulls you towards it and makes you quiet. Bhagavan says, Arthanam putumai uir bali kanta parvata murutana vidanai ortirum uirin cheshtaye uduki urutana abhivukama yit tanbol achalamacha. You also become a mountain. You also become still like the mountain. Quiet like Arunachana. That is the benefit of living with a master. Slowly you absorb his presence. Slowly he is in you. He lives in you. No more you. There. He alone is. So that is here this Shruti Gita says. So when you know that he alone is the truth. You offer your mind, your body, your senses, your acharana, everything to him. That is bhakti. If you fail to offer your body, mind, everything to God, what will you do? You will offer it to the world. And naturally, the world will destroy it. It will spoil it. Anything that is offered to the world will get spoiled. 
तजीवितम जीवितम आहुरारिया यदि शपादार पितमी शनिष्ठम न जीवितम जीवितम आर्पितम यद विनश्वरार्थाय विनश्तमेत इफ यू ऑफर इट टू द वर्ल्ड विनश्तम गेट डेस्ट्रॉयड स्पॉइल सो द बेस्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इज ऑफर इट टू द गॉड अतः Rishayaha dhaduhu tvai mano vachana charitam They gave the mind to the Lord They don't want anything else And Shankaracharya tells Shiva In Shiva Nandala You have everything with you The only thing that you don't have Is a monkey that I have That is the mind I will give it to you Bhavatu bhavadartham amamana I will offer you my mind So Lord is asking only for the mind that mind we have given, we have given to the world. What do we offer to him? We offer this banana or coconut. Bhagavan says, I don't want this coconut or banana. All those things already belong to me. Maharshi used to say very beautifully, you know, Tamil people, they will know. When you make murk with the same mab, you will make a Ganapati. And you make this moon and offer to Ganga. Both are of made of the same stuff. Hmm? Like that, everything belongs to him. And what are you going to offer? How can you offer anything to him? Everything belongs to him. The only thing that you have to offer is your own ego, your own mind. And whatever you do, remove that selfishness and think you have that knowledge inside you that everything is Ishwara and you are serving Him. If you add that, then it becomes Bhakti. Then it becomes Bhakti. When you cook food, it is for Him. It is for that Vaishwara Rupa. Ishwara is there in everyone, so you offer Him. He takes that food. Through some some person he will come and eat. He alone is there as Vaishwanara in every body. So that is Nivedya. So you have that. So that recollection is difficult. That is why uh, a technique, a method is given to remember Chandis now constantly Chandis now. Tukaram says. Whatever may your mind be doing, chant this Rama. Chant Ramakrishna Hari. Let the mind wander. Let the body work. But chant this Rama. The Dhamma is going on and on and on. Whatever work you are doing, naturally soon it gets divinized. It gets purified. Everything gets purified. So, Atarishayo Dadhu Tvai Mano Vachana Acharitam Kathamayata Bhavanti Bhavigatta Padani When you have this feeling that the entire Vishwam, the entire universe is God and whatever is being done by your body, mind is not by you, it is by Him. You are only an instrument in His hand and you constantly, you have to, the only thing that you have to check is whether you have that feeling. When you constantly have that feeling that it is Ishwara. Eknath Maharaj says in Eknathi Bhagavad, you clean the house with a broomstick, take all those um, dust and put it in the backyard, selling telling Narayana. That becomes puja, he says. Provided you have that feeling, otherwise you will do a puja. Pujari is doing in a temple, doing puja, this month's salary has not come to me. <laughs> and God is afraid to see that puja. There is a story, you know, uh, every day one pujari was a, perhaps a communist. He does puja only for making money. So every day he used to come out of the temple and Vatsiddha was sitting outside, he will do a Namaskar. 
and the pujari goes inside the temple, then also this Siddha will do Namaskar. So one day this pujari got this yesterday. He said, Hey Swami, why are you doing Namaskar to me? I am doing this just as a job. I do not have that kind of belief. I am born as a Brahmin, fortunately or unfortunately. I have got this job. I am doing this puja without any feeling. So if you want to do Namaskar, you can do Namaskar to that Deva who is inside the temple. The Swami said, My dear man, I am doing Namaskar only to the Swami. But unfortunately, when you go inside, he comes out. When you come out, he goes inside. <laughs> it occurs <laughs> correctly. So I do Namaskar only to him. You think it is for you. So mere that action, outward action is not puja. Karma kim param karma tajjadam. Bhagavan says in Upadesha Sara, simply uh, ringing the bell or putting water or putting flowers. Without that bhava, inside, it is mere action. A machine will also do, a robot will also do. Will that be a puja? Now people are starting using it. Because you need not pay a salary to the robot pujari and mantra it will correctly chant. But it is not a puja because no bhava is there. So that bhava when it happens in the heart, whatever is performed is offered. Dadustvai mano vachana charitam katham ayatha bhavanti bhubitatta padan indrinam So wherever you keep your feet in this ashram, you are touching only the ashram. So whatever you may do with your whole being, you are moving in the Lord. You are moving in Him only. You can transform everything as a divine thing, as a divine experience. He just left out T.K. Sundarishwari's story. I have to complete that also. See, when he was very close with Bhagavan, he had many spiritual experiences later on, vision of Rama. And many other experiences he had. Once you know when he read some books he felt he is not having spiritual progress. That is where I left this to have to keep up some notes here. <laughs> um, he was not having spiritual progress. There is no measuring rod for it. So he thought I will stay back in my home and do sadhana. Till I progress spiritually, I will not meet Bhagavan. From my childhood, I have been close with him, but I have not sufficiently progressed. Taking this resolution, he stayed back in his home. One month, two months, three months passed, and it no longer it was bearable. It became unbearable for him. There was no outer progress also. The mind became active, no peace, some kind of disturbance came and he felt that pang, that longing to meet Bhagavan. He rushed towards Skandashram. Bhagavan was waiting for him. You know, Bhagavan said, Sundaresha, Today is the hundredth day that you have not met me. He has not keep, kept the count, but Bhagavan has kept the count. He, Bhagavan said, today is the hundredth day that you have kept yourself away from me. Do you know what Bhagavan said? You were calculating that you were not having any benefit by this association. But at least now you know that Keeping away from me, now you know what you lose. That is it. The spiritual thing you know, when you are in association, you will not know. Cultural thing, spiritual thing, everything, it is not like a cinema. The thrill, that ecstasy, no. When you are in association, you will not directly know. 
But when you leave it and go, then you will know what you are to see. Something very precious was already there, which is not mental, which is something very deep. How you see that vacant state, that void. So then only you know the benefit of satsang. Contact with saints. It just enters you. It seeps into you. Something very deep happens. Something very profound happens. So, once you go, once you get it, you get the chance of serving them. There, you serve with the body, with the mind. But that is what Mataji used to say to devotees also. You do some service here. You chant Rama Rama, you do some service to Papa. One, at least one day clean bhajan hall in some form you have to do something then you feel benefited then you feel actually elevated so that is here that is the see when you do self enquiry the eye goes and merges in the heart in Isha. And what is that I made of? It is made of the physical body, made of the senses, made of everything. So, Bhakti is also Atma Vichara only. When you offer your whole being to Him, this ego disappears because ego is hidden everywhere. It is hidden everywhere. So, here, Mano Vachana Charitam Tvai Dhaduhu when you offer yourself, there is no question that you will not attain realization. You are sure to attain it. It is already given to you. It is impossible because the Lord feels indebted to you. When Hanuman Anjaneya served Rama, hmm? He, after seeing Sita in Lanka, came back and told Bhagavan that, that this is the news. You know what Rama had said? How can I give anything back to you? Hey, I have nothing to give back to you. I can just hug you, that is all. Esha sarvasva bhutastu parishvango hanumata. This is, I will give you this parishvanga. And not only that, then you know, Bhagavan gave a blessing. He said, let, I am giving you a boon. What kind of boon it is? Let me not get a chance to give, serve you back. Narav pratyupakararati vibhakti mabhikamshati Mayeva vilayam yathu yatvaya upakritam hare Hey Hanuman, whatever Upakara you did to me, let it merge in me. Let me not be able to serve you back. Give anything to you in return. Because, suppose if you see somebody, some accident, some person is lying in the road, you help him, take him in your car, put him in the hospital, he is unconscious and after 3-4 days, he regains consciousness to go to see him. He says, Oh, sir, you have helped me. I am really indebted, indebted to you. I should serve you like this. <laughs> then what happens? So, you should not even desire to help another person. You should not expect another person to be in a state where he should take your help. Actually, too much of helping is almost insulting also, humiliating also. That kind of state should not come. That is what Bhagavan says, I, you should not get into the trap of samsara like me. You will remain free, you will not have this trouble which I am going through, that will not come to you, that will not affect you. I will digest. 
you will remain free. You will see, that is Hanuman. Hmm? He is the most, is the Jal in Ramayana. Ramayana Mahamala Ratnam Vande Anilatmacha. He is the Ratnam in Ramayana. Completely disabled. Hmm? No desire at all. Ever ready to serve. Dynamic. See, Jnani is also, Jnani can work, Jnani can remain like Shukacharya or Ramana Maharshi. Jnani can also be like dynamic like Hanuman. When somebody asked Bhagavan, although Bhagavan remained like that, the reply that he gave is different. When somebody asked Bhagavan, Bhagavan, uh, many are there who are supposed to be Jnanis, but they are working in the world. And you know what Bhagavan said, who told you that a Jnani should not work in the world? Suppose if you say that a Jnani should not work in the world, all the great masters who work in the world will become Ajnanis. Above all, Ishwara will be the greatest Ajnani. Because incessantly he is working. Incessantly he is working. So he will be the greatest ignorant person. So a Jnani can be dynamic. Two Jnanis will not be same. It will be unique. So that kind of dynamism, Papa used to say, outwardly you are dynamic, inwardly static. The karma is happening, but akarma sthiti. Karma ni akarma yaf pashyet, akarma ni cha karma yaha. Mataji was doing that. Day and night, toiling, serving. But nobody has seen her sitting in a samadhi. In fact, when devotee started writing her biography without telling her, she came to know and said, um, I know that you are writing. I am not against writing. You can help seekers. But you will not write everything. You will say, I had the Kundalini experience and enlightenment. All those things you will write. But you will not write that sitting in, you will be happy to hear this. You know what Mataji says? You will not write, I will sit in a satsanga and sleep. <laughs> you will not write, I will get angry with you when you do something wrong. You will only write, you will only write that I had this spiritual experience, I am always peaceful, all those things you will write and misguide spiritual seekers. See, that is Today, Ganesha Natra, no? nobody can be natural like her. Once somebody asked Mataji, Mataji, night time when you go out, you have fear, you have seen. Um, do jnanis have fear? Then first Mataji said, I don't know. I have fear. Then they asked, what is the difference? Formerly also I used to have fear, but during sadhana period there was no fear. There was total vairagya, no care. After attainment, realization, again I am the same person naturally, fear is there, she said. Then this devotee intelligently asked, then you again go back to the ignorant state? Then she came out with that insight, brilliant insight. You know what she said? She said, formerly, fear was different from me. Now, I am the afraid, I am the fear, I am that which, about which I am afraid. I am also, the tributy is gone. Everything is me. The fear is also me. It is very difficult to understand. Hmm? Only when you have that kind of insight you will understand. But Advaita Jnana means everything is there and you know everything is me. Good, bad, everything is me. And I am beyond everything else. So that kind of realization. So when you know that you your whole system is so, if it is dynamic, it will remain dynamic. It will work day and night, whatever maybe your job you will do. That is why Bhagavan tells Arjuna, fight. 
because that is what you are made of. You cannot take diksha. You cannot become a sannyasi. Formerly, you tried and married Subhadra, ran with her. <laughs> that is your nature. So don't take sannyas and give bad name to sannyas. Your prarabdha is to fight. Your very being is made with that. So fight. Nothing will happen. Let the fight happen and only by fighting you can have bhakti. So even fighting you can offer. Arjuna says, Ghora karma. Ghore karma ini o jayasi keshama. Bhagavan says, don't uh, analyze the quality of work. Whatever may be your work, offer it to me. Chukka Mela was sick, uh, toilet cleaner. After realization, he did not start an ashram. He continued doing that toilet cleaning only. He was doing the same work. Tukaram was a Vaishya, selling wheat, rice. That work he was doing. Namdev was a trainer. Raidas was a shoemaker. Many of Bhagavan's devotees were like that. They were continuing their same work, remaining in that state. So that karma will happen and you will remain untouched by that asanga. So, Rishayo dhaduhu tvai mano vachana chari the mind, walk, everything is offered to the Lord and then how can they remain without attainment? Katham ayatha bhavanti bhavi datta padani nana Many many saints have walked this path and they have revealed their secrets how can it be otherwise? How is it? See, Shankaracharya says, when you have a great teacher and he is teaching you, it is impossible not to realize. Avagatihi bhavatyeva. Shankaracharya says, it is impossible not to have realization. Because you are like a wick and he is like fire. Once you come in contact, you will be lit. And that realization doesn't mean so you are going to outwardly completely change. No, you will have that content. Tripti. That is what Vidyaranya Swami says. Tripti. Vidyaranya Swami says, what is Samadhi? He says, Tripti. Kind of deep contentment comes. Very, very contented. Whatever stature you are, you become fulfilled. I don't want anything to happen. This, when you have this dhanyoham, dhanyoham, tridhanyoham, says, I am blessed, I am blessed, I am thrice blessed. Praptavyam, praptam, kartavyam, kritam. So that kind of feeling comes to you, that is bhakti. That is real devotion. And you feel completely contented. Tripta. And that atripti is there, you need another birth. Because you are not happy with this birth, you have small ambition. So Bhagavan says, come back. Why be miserly? Take another birth. See, uh, I don't know whether you have heard about Patanatha Swami. He was a great saint in Tamil Nadu. About him, some Kathakaras, they tell a story. We don't know where they found out. He, in his former life, they say he was Kubera. So once Shiva and Kubera were moving in the sky, 
looking at various Tirtha Kshetras and when they came to Kaveri Kumpatram and place this Kubera told Shiva Bhagavan this place looks very beautiful why not stay for an evening we will linger here for, a, for an evening you know what Bhagavan said why such miserliness take birth there only for a <laughs> come back <laughs> He had all the trouble. <laughs> he had to go. So for a small desire, he had to take a bath. Or to speak about our case. <laughs> Only a small desire. He just asked, why not stay here for the evening? Bhagavan said, why such miserliness? Take bath. All suffering he had to undergo. Great suffering. His all songs are full of violence. So that um, tripti, when you have that tripti and you serve whatever form, whatever may be your dharma, with that you offer yourself to the Lord, then Ishwara becomes pleased, present, then that happiness, that bhakti is given to you. So here, the third verse is Ititava Suraya Striyadhivate Akhila Loka Malakshapana Kathamrita Abdhima Vagahya Tapamsi Jahu Kimuta Gunaswadhama Vidhudashaya Kala Gunaha Parama Bhajanti Ye Padama Jasra Sukhanu Bhava In this verse, Shuddhi Mata is saying Ititava Suraya Those Saints, a triadhipate, O Lord, who is the adhipati for all the three worlds. You are the sakshi for the waking state, for the dream state, for the deep sleep state, for bu, bu, asua, all the worlds. Akila loka malak shapana kathamrta abdhi. See, we have, we have heard so many stories from Ganeshana. Somebody was telling, what is the most attractive words when somebody is speaking, what are those words which will make a person alert? They are going to a state of sleep. Suddenly hear those words, you wake up. That means, you know what, they are once upon a time. The moment you listen to it, you wake up. So, naturally human being, they have the tendency of listening to Katha, the story. And our mind is a great Katha Kara. Hmm? Our mind always tells our own story. <laughs> that is a Bhagavata and it has only one job constantly day and night my story constantly speaking about my katha or someone's story no? Krishna tells Uddhava I will give, give you a spiritual discipline what is that spiritual discipline? neither speak about yourself nor speak about others <laughs> that's all Paraswabhava karmai na prashamsayet. Hmm? Prashamsa means what? Speaking good about others. Hmm? Praising others. Don't praise. Na nindayet, garhayet. Neither hmm? Hmm? talk ill about others. Hmm? Na prashamsayet, na garhayet. Then what should I do? Vishwam Ekatma Gumpashyam. See this Vishwam as Ekatma. It's all Bhagavatam. Hmm? Vishwam Ekatma Gumpashyam. You see this universe as that Ekatma, Ekatma, neither man nor woman. He says, Prakritya Purushena Chaya. Neither this difference of Prakriti and Purusha, everything is Atma only. Then you will attain that oneness, says Bhagavan. 
the moment you speak about any person you fall from spiritual state sa ashu bhrashyate bhrashyate means you will have a spiritual fall so do not speak that is very difficult then what should i do okay speak about bhagwan that is bhagavata dharma hmm? so here a spiritual discipline is given you have katha and what is that katha akila loka mala kshapana katha amrita abdhim avaka you take bath in amrita abdhi in the nectarine ocean of bhagavad katha and all your dirt all your ignorance ajnana is removed they are devotees who they are very addicted to hearing bhagavad katha when vaishnava saint had a disciple many disciples he had they came to him uh, learned ramayana bhagavata and went back this one disciple could not even utter one shloka without flaw but no one can listen to bhagavad katha like me he will sit with so much delight and guru himself will feel happy if he is there because with so much devotion tears welling up in his eyes he will hear when he is telling ramayana yuddha kanda he has tanmaya bhava hmm? so when he said ravana entered that yuddha bhumi and hanuman jumped into ravana's chariot and gave him a hit you know what happened the person sitting near him lost his teeth <laughs> he became identified that <laughs> kind of bhava he had and one day this vaishnava sadhu he called him see so many years you are listening to now and tell one shloka without a flaw he said that is impossible then what are you listening to i am not listening to this shlokas <laughs> i am listening to that bhava what have you got all these years when are you going to learn and go see i will go when your stock is over that is not going to happen or i will go when i feel dry i feel enough of the story telling listening no that also will not happen so i will remain in this kind of bhava sthiti or less listening if people are afraid to sit near me let them sit <laughs> so that kind of bhava bhakta sarde no? i think they are also special beings you cannot put same shot to everybody very is kind of spiritual seekers are there some devotees are there you know they are कथा रसिका दैट इज वेरी भागवत आई से रसिका हा भूई बाबू का नॉट ड्राई पीपल दे आर रसिका हा दे नो हाउ टू एंजॉय स्टोरी हाउ टू हैव डिलाइट नो वन वुड हैव थॉट दैट भगवान रमण महर्षि इज द प्योर क्रिस्टल क्लियर स्पिरिचुअल टीचिंग विल हैव सो मच माधुर्य विद दिस स्टोरीज दिस वुड माउंटेन पाथ एंड आई नाउ यूज्ड टू राइट that portion will stand all other articles will be about only the teaching but here all stories could you some even say that you used to he amongst bhagwan's devotees once when i was sitting near him somebody asked but could you some tell something about bhagwan bhagwan the brahma pradesh alla irukkadu he said that all the brahma pradesh are remain there i will tell some story and one of anna's family and i used to say when of the boys of anna's family he went to kunj swami and said swami always you speak some god story tell me some other story kunj swami started telling about one raja and one rani so that story telling it is also a very powerful way of spiritual transmission because by the time that 
story is woven around a artwork is done lankara is done lord is established in your heart and you listen to bhagavatam that bhagavat katha you go with bhagwan in your heart ishwara is there in your heart so that is why that katha must be heard and akila loka malakshapana katha that katha has all the items which can remove our katha we will easily forget our ego and our actions janma karmani bhuya gayam shemani ramani avita dubhaya pradrutam pratuta you listen to bhagwan's nama so that you will forget your nama you listen to bhagwan's leela so that you will forget your leela your action you listen to bhagwan's life so that you will forget your life everything is offered to you and taken divinized that is the freedom that we have in bhakti akila loka malakshapana all the mala mala means dirt it adhyan mala karma mala anava mala ignorance is as is a dirt karma is a dirt ego is a dirt all these dirts they are all cleansed and you can hear this bhagavat katha from a real anubhuti man from a bhagavata that happens akila loka mala kshapana kathamrdhim kathamrdabdhim avagahya tapamsi jahu you know what the saints did what these devotees did all their tapa all their suffering they were all removed taken away tapamsi jahu so even by listening to bhagavad katha even by having this spiritual satsanga you can go beyond this samsara tapa what to seek it tell about those saints who have realized the self that is what this shloka says even by listening to the story of saints you can go transcend this samsara kimuta what to speak about swadharma vidudashaya kala guna those who have come in contact with that heart center where there is no time where there is no mind where there is no vasanas where there is no sattva rajas tamo guna those who have come in contact with that heart center and experience that ajasra sukha anubhavam that incessant experience of atma sukha that atma anubhuti day and night you have that samadhi that atma anubhuti in that state you just cross this ocean of samsara there is you need not tell about that if you cannot go to that much level even by listening to the stories even by having offering your senses to bhakti because they are going to trouble you so you offer your body your action your words your mind everything to the lord you will remain dhruva says in bhagavata um, like a drunken man i will live, remain in the world unaware panamattahase ulbanam ur vyasanam bhavabdhim neshye bhavarguna kathamrta panamattah the samsara ni uru vyasana not one kind of trouble you cannot have this trouble will come next no you don't know what will descend from which corner what kind of trouble will come that is why it is said as ulbana ulbana means unpredictable powerful mighty problems will come so that kind of vyasana can come how to remain unaffected bhagat guna katha amrita pana matta you have a drink you have a potion which keeps you ever in that inundation you look like a drunken man when kalipada ghosh a devotee went to see ramakrishna 
you are said drunkard his wife went to ramakrishna and told thakur my husband is a drunkard i try my level best to control him it is impossible please help ramakrishna said bring him here she said it is impossible you will not come okay you chant this nama and he will come to you so when this powers were there so she chanted that bhagavan nama after a few days he felt an inner urge to visit ramakrishna so one day when he came there were no other devotees ramakrishna was dancing with divine mother's name brahmamayi brahmamayi saying was dancing he looked through the window oh this person is like me only one difference now after so much drinking now nothing goes to my head there is no that much of intoxication is not happening so he is having some better <laughs> liquor so let me ask him what he is drinking so that kind of fool he was so he he asked first the servant then that lady said you ask him he went to ramakrishna and asked what is that um stuff that you are drinking is it um indian or foreign that is what he asked and you know what ramakrishna said are it is village made <laughs> he said you take it once all your life you will remain in inundation do you want it yes very much he said i will give you then slowly he got introduced to ramakrishna state see all these attractive things are there in the world to pull you from them you need a very tremendous spiritual attraction without that it is impossible by mere philosophy or ideal or any teaching it cannot take you away from this unless you see a more powerful bliss bhagwan says in akshara manamale ur shutrudam my mind is wandering about in the world because it wants to see beauty una alhai kaate narunacha If it if if it beholds your beauty, it will no more wander about. The greatest beauty, greatest captivating beauty you have, if you reveal it, my mind will stay there. So when you will see that joy in the Lord, when you see bliss in Him, when you see splendor in Him, when you see peace in Him, no more you will wander. That can happen. you come in contact with a saint and you see that bliss in them and you see that happiness in them that contentment in them then you know that such a state exists it is possible for a human being to remain in such a state unless you see a person living it it is impossible to have faith so katha maya tha so he has said those who listen to the stories then also the faith can happen or when you have direct contact with the saint then also the faith can happen by listening to the stories itself that itself is a great medicine so uh, even to ganeshana papa gave uh, you must be telling that story papa gave him upadesha read the stories biographies of saints not the teaching biographies of saints perhaps in his presence papa was speaking speaking to someone else because that is very powerful you will be able to identify them then you feel you can also do so that imitation is our nature so that story sadhana katha sadhana here we saw in this verse we will continue tomorrow morning i think tomorrow evening and special session it will be in malayalam okay, tomorrow evening uh, it will be not this topic continuation it is announced earlier itself
tomorrow is Sunday, many are coming for that. So evening satsang will be in Malayalam. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai